WSI, and we are on location today, actually in Hill City, Kansas. And we're in the saw room, but we got a few lays in here as well. And uh, what we're going to show you today is, is the manufacturing process of our dual ram. These are right here, 5K dual ram BOPs. We're actually the only domestic manufacturer of these. Um, our competitors are either you know, bringing these in from somewhere else or buying and selling from somebody else. We're actually the only ones that are actually making these in the U.S. So this is JJ here. He's in charge of the first step, the first few processes of these. So what we've got here is a raw piece of steel. This is what we get in. It's 4130. Uh, approximate weight's about 550 pounds. This is how we get it shipped to us. Um, and from this point, we've got to take you the first several steps to bring it down. And then you'll see the finished product uh, a little bit later in the video. And JJ's just going to talk about the first few steps and what he's doing in that process. So. All right. So the first step that we do is we run the top side. Aaron, we end up edging the process down to get a nice flat surface. And we run the OD, which we call a bar out, to the printed spec that we have. And I take a drill drill out the center and we bar in then after that's done I have I cut in two of the seven eight eight round. Yeah. And so for those of you that are kind of familiar with the finished product looks like uh, this would be the top of the BOP um, and this would be where you thread your stuffing box in or where you'd have your companion flange and you'd have that sitting on here and you'd go into the companion flange. None of that work's been done yet but this is the top and that's the first step. And then the second step, which we'll show over here in a minute, is where we go down and we actually cut that 2 and 9 16 5 in flange. This is the same area, the same spot where we also do the 7 and 16 10 in, the 7 and 16 5 in. All those BOPs are started in this room and at this process here. Just today we're showing you a 2 and 9 16 5. So we'll pick this one up, get in the machine, and we'll get out of his way. So. We're still here in the saw room. We're going to uh, gab on WSI. We're going to show you the uh, second step on our 5K dual ram BOPs. And so we showed you the first step just a minute ago. Now we're over here and, and we've already completed the second step on these. And JJ is going to tell you what that is and how that whole process kind of works. All right. So basically, it's almost the same thing. I'm going to run a face, run the edge to. Uh, to the overall link, I run my bar out to uh, the flange OD, then I'll run in and cut the flange to the spec. Then when I'm done with that, as you can see, I'll stamp the serial number for warranty and information. This is one thing we want to touch base on is that they all have a serial number stamped on them. Uh, what he made today is a 2 and 9 16 5, but this is the same process for our 7 and 16 5 M's or 7 and 16 10 M's. They start off here. After this, these two steps are done, they go over to another part of the, of the factory here and that's uh, onto a milling machine and that's where we do all the internals and that stuff. So we'll show you that next. Okay, so we're still following that BOP that we start off with in the saw room. It's a uh, dual ram 5K BOP with a 2 and 9 16 face. We've now got it over here on the mill. Um, this one started here. It actually starts off in this area here where they uh, line up the uh, board in the bottom and the top and make sure those everything comes together fine. Uh, and the 2 and 9 16 flange is also finished over there. So this flange is now ready, done, ready to go. And from here it goes into the machine where the rest of that process takes place. Philip will show you that. We've got a BOP sitting in there right now. We've got the machine off. And then we'll have Chris, uh, he's our machinist over here, give you a little bit more detail about what we're actually doing uh, on this machine over here. All right, so what we do on this mill is the finish work to these dual ram BOPs. This mill can do any of the different styles and variations that we make. The one you see inside there is being face milled right now to square it off. And then we'll come in and put the ram cap holes, the ram bores, the side ports, uh, anything to specification 
that we need different size side ports. Uh, just any variations are all finished here on this mill. And when it's done, we have our final product ready to be built, tested, and painted. All right, so now we're over at the test booth. The uh, BOP has come off the mill. Um, it's been assembled over in that area too. So they've assembled the, uh, the ram housing, the ram caps. Uh, that's all gone in. It's all been uh, assembled, greased out should be. And then it'll go in inside the test booth. Uh, we've got stuff going on in there right now, so we can't show the insides, but here's the outside of it. Um, and this is where we test all of our BOPs. We test all of our pollution control stuff in boxes or BS stuff in boxes. Uh, basically anything 3K and above uh, gets a pressure test for the most part. Um, the BOPs, the dual RAM BOPs, will, are sent out with chart recorders. And that's what this is here. So they actually track when they put the BOP in there on a dual RAM. They're actually tested in three different sections. So you'll see that test below the RAMs, in between the RAMs, and above the RAMs um, on here. Um, and it'll give you the, it shows you the pressure that it goes up to, um, it shows you the amount of time the test took, and then it shows you the next section of the BOP they tested. Uh, and the serial number to the corresponding BOP, we saw JJ put those on in the uh, saw room over there with the lays. Uh, that corresponding serial number with that BOP is on this chart recorder as well. These get sent out with the BOPs. We'll show you that package at the very end when we're done. But every BOP, every dual RAM that we have gets sent out with the chart recorder. Whether or not you get it by the time it gets to the end user and out on location is, uh, is another story, but it's sent out to the supply stores and the pump shops with these with them. So we'll show you the, uh, uh, the paint booth next. Okay, the BOP is now in the paint booth. So it's been assembled, it's been pressure tested. From here it comes over for final assembly and paint. Um, he's in there doing that right now. It's getting painted blue because it's a 5K product. Uh, we color code stuff, so if you see anything blue, it's 5K. Green's 3K. Red's pretty much 1500. But uh, that's pretty much the final step. We paint it, we let it dry, we attach the chart recorders, and they go out. We'll show you a finished product here next. Okay, so here are our finished products. Uh, here's the BOP we've been following. So it's a 2 and 9 16th 5M based BOP, 5K. BOP is rated to 5K. Um, it's got the side outlets and the hole here. It's just we've got they're, they're got a protection layer over so you can't actually see them. One thing we do on these in the machining process I didn't mention earlier is our BOPs come out both side studded for a flange and we go ahead and drill the inside there with a line pipe outlet. So if you don't want to throw a flange on there initially and just thread right into the BOP, you can do that. Um, or you can throw a companion flange on here and, uh, and, and go that route. Um, at this point, they're ready to go. We throw a little tape on them to keep all the, uh, uh, the nuts on here and they don't get lose those in, in shipping. And then this is your chart recorder and your seal, your warranty card that is placed with these two. So these get zip tied on here and it's got the chart recorder with the corresponding BOP serial number. It shows the pressure test that was done over here. And then you've got your uh, product service warranty where the BOP and the RAMs have a year warranty on them. So if you have any issues with the BOP or with the BOP RAM seals, the first year you just let us know um, and we'll take care of those for you this card you can fill this card out and send it in to us or you can go on our website um, website's a lot easier it takes just a minute or two to put your serial number in your product and register it and that year warranty is from when you go when the product goes in the field so it doesn't matter if it's set on the supply store or the pump shop pump shop shelf for six months it's from when the end user takes possession of that BOP and it goes out in the field so that kind of wraps up our our, our our BOPs just want to show you how we are making these here in Hill City, Kansas. They're domestic. As far as we know, we're the only ones that are actually making these in the states. Like we said earlier, everything else is brought in from somewhere else or they're buying it and reselling it, but it's actually manufactured, um, not stateside. So it's 100% domestic um, and uh, we, uh, we're pretty proud of them. We've had them work really well. So thanks for your time today. Work smart, stay safe, and uh, make your connection with WSI.